In today's Madden 21 video, we're going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best man-to-man -man beaters in all of Madden 21. This play is equipped to beat man, to beat zone, to beat everything that you are going to face with. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my channel before, my YouTube channel is devoted to helping you take your Madden game to the next level through tips and strategies just like this one. We upload four of these every single day, so be sure to subscribe on the bottom right hand corner of your screen for the latest tips and strategies that you can utilize to be able to be more effective in Madden 21. What's up guys, today we're taking a look at a play out of the gun spread double flex. Now this can be found in many other playbooks um, but this is a very very good route combination out of the play inside cross and I want to show it to you against one of the more meta defenses we've got our purple zone shaded at 20 yards and I am going to be showing you this route combination against man to man and the only adjustment that I like to make is take Tanyan and put him on a slant route and what you'll see is this running back route gets really really good separation against man to man coverage as you can see right there he's going to beat man either to the inside or the outside one of the one of the two this route is consistent these both of these routes will consistently win against man to man coverage and that's what you need in this year's game you need routes that are going to be able to win against man to man now if they run man to man and let's say they take the same Safeties away. Let's say, let's say they try to take the safeties away. They bring the safeties into underneath coverage to try to take away some of these underneath crossing routes. And you'll see both of these crossing routes beat man. This route to Equanimous St. Brown is very unique. It's not exactly a drag route. It's actually something um, entirely different. So just to show this, I'm going to put the running back on the route. You see how it's a, a see the route right there? Now look at Robert Tanyan. You see that Equanimous St. Brown's route is a little bit more shallower. Now you could turn this into a mesh concept very, very easily, but basically what it comes down to is Equanimous St. Brown's route is unbumpable, meaning if they press coverage, if they try to press this route, it's not going to work. Um, you're going to be able to consistently work this work this right up the field. And if it does work, um, and most of the time they're not going to press anyway, but you'll see here, you're going to be able to get that ball out to one of those two crossing routes, one of those two mesh routes over the middle of the field. The next thing that you're going to do, as you see here, I mean, he's just going to torch man. If he's if he does not get pressed, he's going to be open every single time. That's what I love about these routes this year. Now, if they start taking away the safeties, um, what you're going to see here is this route to Marquez Vada scanning on the left side. This specific fade is really, really good against man-to-man. -man. Now, this is shaded coverage over top man. If you have a speed advantage, you can try to throw this. Um, you see there, um, he's not going to be able to make the catch if they're shaded over top. But I do want you to see, um, let's, say they, let's say they press coverage, and let's say they, they don't shade coverage over top, right? They don't shade coverage over top. So he gets the jam in there. All you're going to do, just lob it over the top, click on, and just do a little swerve catch just like that right there and you're going to be able to get that outside separation against the man-to-man -man coverage. And then for the times where they shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, and they drop their safeties, what you're going to see on this play, this route to Devontae Adams, if you smart route it, you don't have to smart route it. I like to personally. I think it just does a little bit better. But you'll see here when you smart route the route, just pass lead that all the way over to the left. And as long as Aaron Rodgers will give you a good throw and you have time in the pocket, you are going to be able to destroy um, – the the meta man-to-man -man defense this post route just kills man coverage and the cool part about it is it looks kind of like a c route man practice mode sheds are insane it looks kind of like a c route so or you know maybe something like that so the defense is not going to really understand until you run this on them several times that you're trying to burn them over the top with this one play touchdown you'll see i've thrown so many of these one play touchdowns because here's the bottom line they cannot cover the underneath routes and the post route they have to choose oftentimes they will choose the post routes just so you're aware and if they do take the post route you're going to take these underneath routes all day long these underneath routes are what are going to win you football games this year i love these routes i'm just telling you right now these cross these little underneath crossing routes work really really well the the slant route is okay you saw there perry nickerson was able to stick to him a little bit better than i would have hoped but you'll see when they drop those purple zones, um, let me show you that real quick. When they drop those purple zones on the outside there, you're actually going to have window to throw that route. Oftentimes what people are going to do is they're going to get caught up in the underneath zones of the play, meaning they're going to be trying to stop everything underneath. And what that's going to leave is it's going to leave a void, a huge void, in fact, over the middle of the field for you to be able to hit that post route 
to Devontae Adams. So just one of the best man beaters in the game. I, would, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is from the West Coast playbook, but you can find this um, play in several playbooks. It's the inside cross from the spread double flex. Now, if you guys have not already signed up for my text messaging membership, I would encourage you to do that today because we are releasing our first tip um, this evening for the text message members. So basically all you have to do to sign up is just shoot me a text message and let me know you want to sign up. Okay. So very, very easily you say, Hey Cody, I want to sign up for the text membership. It is my personal cell phone number. Um, uh, you know, no, 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 uh, no game here. Right. So, uh, my number is eight, one, two, two, one, six, three, six, four, four. The link or the uh, number is also written in the description of every video I do. It's normally on the top left as well. Um, but my graphic got deleted for whatever reason. So we'll get that back up there and get that fixed for you guys. But I wanted to share this video with you. And I just want to encourage you, if you haven't picked up that texting membership, you definitely want to take advantage of that. Every single week, I'm giving one exclusive tip. We won't post it on YouTube. It won't be posted to the general public. It'll only be sent to my text message members. So if you want to get access to that video, it's very, very high level. It's very, very in-depth. And it's very much so designed to really help you take your Madden game to the next level. So thank you so much for your time. We've got a couple more videos coming. i got some I want you to check out on the screen here in just a second. And we also will be having a live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time uh, right here on YouTube. So be sure to come back for that. And you can also join the Discord if you want to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies. Thanks for your time.